everybody. Welcome to The Real Rhino, here to talk about the movies. Uh, going to speak with you just a little bit here from the office, and then we're going to head out to the road, out to AMC Barry Woods, and hear what I had to say about my three latest movie conquests. Um, firstly, let me say, the music you heard over the opening credits was Muse, and the song was Take a Bow, used completely without their authorization, but I had no idea that it was Muse that sang that and several other very popular songs that have been on the radio recently, but uh, Take a Bow was very prominently featured in the trailer for The Watchmen. And of course, The Watchmen comes out this Friday, March 6th. Uh, if you're going to go see it, go see it at the IMAX. It's going to be fantastic, two hours and 43 minutes. Bring a lunch, stay for the, uh, you're going to be there for the long haul, that is for sure. So uh, that was Muse. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about some of the movies that I've been to and, and really kind of how I spent the last uh, seven or eight of, days of my movie-going life. Uh, firstly, let me say, last Saturday I spent the day at the AMC Best Picture Showcase, and uh, I actually went out there with my friend Dan and his son Michael, and we went from start to finish. We were out there for 14 hours. A lot of people said I was crazy, but uh, I was in good company with about 400 other crazy people that were there from start to finish also. Uh, sadly, for as many movies as I go to, I had already seen all five of them. But it was certainly a treat. All five are excellent movies. And uh, here's some of the things that Dan and Michael had to say when we were out at the theater. And I, I can't remember if Tracy actually pipes in also, but uh, this was some of what Dan and Michael had to say. Regular, uh... What do you guys think so far? Oh, what a great day. Phenomenal movies. Uh, the place is packed, though. It's a, uh, it's a little warm, that's true. Michael? It's been great. Uh, two movies that I hadn't seen yet, uh, so I really liked The Reader. I'd heard bad things about it, but uh, it was actually much better than I expected. So, and what, day so far. what's the last one that you haven't seen? You haven't seen three I of them, right? I haven't seen Slumdog yet, so right now Milk is probably my favorite of the ones that I've seen, so Slumdog has to uh, oust it if it's going to be uh, my favorite. Dan? Uh, probably my favorite of the ones I've seen. Probably going to go with The Reader. The, the reader is, is right up there. I like the whole story. Of course, being set in Germany and uh, having lived there for a year and a half, uh, it holds a little bit of a sentimental favor, probably. And you think that's your uh, top pick for best picture? Well, I haven't seen Frost Nixon yet, so I'm going to completely reserve judgment till I see that. And and your pick, minus uh, having seen Slumdog which one yet? I want to win or which one I think is going to win? Let's, let's go with both. Uh, probably Slumdog will win. I just, just from, the, from everything that I've heard about it, uh, my pick so far... If I wanted it to win, I'd probably have to go with milk, I guess. Milk. It does a body good. Yeah. From the AMC Theater, this is our second break. We'll see you in a bit. Hello, everyone. This is The Real Rhino, here to wish you a happy and healthy AMC Best Picture nominee movie marathon day. I hope that you got out to the theater just like me. 14 hours at the theater, and I'll tell you one thing. I'm a bit haggard. Thank you, Matt Evans, for putting that in my vocabulary. Good night. So that was some of the excitement at the AMC Theater last week. We had a really good time. Um, Tracy came out and she saw the last two, which was Slumdog and Frost Nixon. And uh, I, I really enjoyed the chance to to see seven but i look a lot older great line one of my favorites that won't be the last time you hear it today i promise you that so what's uh what else have i been watching let's see uh i saw a great movie on uh it was wednesday night at the tivoli theater here in kansas city they're doing an alfred hitchcock uh movie series and i saw a movie called the lady vanishes and uh of course at the tivoli for the special series the janice film series uh, it's three bucks to get in. It's dirt cheap. You can't beat the price. But uh, I was absolutely blown away by how much humor and how witty the dialogue was in this movie. And uh, it was just a well-told story. And uh, of course, this is a uh, you know this is a movie from I believe it's 1938. It was one of Alfred Hitchcock's. Um, uh, I, I can't say it was one of his first talking pictures, but he did a good number of silent pictures before this, and this is part of his British film era. This was before he came to the United States, 
In fact, I said to Tracy, I said, uh, when I got home, I said, I'd love to watch this movie again. She goes, I don't want to see it, because all she thinks of with Alfred Hitchcock is Psycho, The Birds, movies like that that are really terrifying. Uh, well, before that, he was the master of suspense, and, and this movie had a bit of suspense to it, but what was suspenseful in 1938 in the era of Saw and Hostel, it just doesn't cut the mustard anymore. But I was shocked because uh, this movie... I, I was like, this is a great movie. I'm so disappointed I hadn't seen it. Well, firstly, it's uh, ranked in the IMDb Top 250 of all time. And secondly, when I got home, I, I grabbed the uh, $6 Alfred Hitchcock box set, three discs that I'd gotten at Walmart for $6. And sure enough, The Lady Vanishes is on here. So, uh, yeah, 1938, black and white, 97 minutes. And uh, it's it's something else. I recommend you see it. If nothing else, go out six bucks. You get a, a top 250 movie from IMDb. You can't beat that. Um, so we come to what I've I've gone to here in the last few days, uh, which if you've seen my Facebook, you know it's been the Jonas Brothers 3D at the IMAX, fanboys, and then today I went and saw the Echelon Conspiracy. When uh, when it comes to that point in the the live report, or if you would the uh, uh, the the report I do from the theater, the es Echelon Conspiracy. I don't really talk much about what the movie was about, but the uh, the graphic that I'll flash while I'm talking about that should pretty much tell the story. Um, but as for the Jonas Brothers, I'm going to say this, and this will be the I, maybe the last thing I say about it. Uh, well, firstly, my friend Dennis um, had the greatest quote because. I was touting this movie because it was at the IMAX, it was in 3D, and it just really looked great. Um, uh, God, how did he say it? Uh, high tech uh, doesn't cancel out low art, or, or something to that effect. And uh, my friend Mike also said that no truer words had ever been spoken by Dennis, that is. And uh, it was just, the music is solid. I can't say that there hasn't been... Uh, music I've listened to through time that I, I didn't pay much attention to the words. I didn't uh, agree much with what Kurt, Kurt Cobain was singing about, but still I love Nirvana. And uh, these Jonas Brothers, they have some catchy music. It's rock and roll. Uh, it's really drum and fiddle uh, driven or string section driven music. And it was enjoyable. I didn't not like the music. I, I liked the music. So hopefully I won't have to defend that anymore. I've had requests to turn in my man card. Uh, I'm going to defend it to the end. Hopefully I'll be able to keep that. Uh, if I have to, I'll, I'll go run some adult films or, uh, you know, beat somebody up or do, do whatever I have to do to redeem myself. But uh, as it stands, I, I'm going to go ahead and stick by my I Enjoy the Jonas Brothers. Seeing it in 3D, seeing it in IMAX, definitely made the film. Uh, and it's tough calling it a film because it's a concert and it's only 72 minutes long. But I enjoyed it. I wouldn't have gone if it wasn't a both. If, if all of those things weren't in line, I wouldn't have gone to see it. But I'm going to say some more on it when it comes uh, to that section out at the theater. Um, and uh, I, I believe I mentioned it at the tail end of the, uh, the theater report. But you can always get in touch with me at realrhino at gmail.com. That's R-E-E-L rhino at gmail.com. Or you can follow me at twitter.com slash realrhino. Uh, I hope to see you all out there on Facebook. We're going to head out to the theater now. Uh, drop me a line. Let me know what you think. Talk to you later.